Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. Today I am going to discuss about the feature of exporting the file archive data using data discovery. By the end of this demo, you will get an idea about how to export the data using data discovery. There are two methods to export the data using data discovery. First method is using the browse data option and second method is using the search within an entity option. Using the browse data option, followings are the steps to follow in order to export the data. First, go to the browse data option from the data discovery menu. Then select the archive folder entity schema and table details from which you need to export the data. Then select the required columns which you want to see in the exported file. Then you can add the additional filter criteria in order to filter the records if required. Then run the export job to get the exported file. Now let me show a quick demo on how to use the browse data for exporting the data. Once you go to the browse data option from the data discovery, you can see the options to select archive folder, entity, schema and table. Now here I am selecting the number table to export the data. Once you select the table, all the columns of the tables are listed in data columns option. Now from here you can select only the required columns or if you require all the columns in the exported data, you can include all the columns. And you can add the additional WHERE clause condition to filter the data or an ORDER BY condition to order the data in the exported file. You can also preview the query which ILM fires to get the data. Now if you click on search, it will display all the records which come under the above criteria. So if you want to include a criteria, for example, for I am including the criteria column 2 value greater than 10,000. So if I include this criteria, only those records which come under this criteria can be exported. Now to run the export standalone job, click on export, select the required format either a PDF file or a comma separated file. Now I am selecting the PDF file for the exported data and this will create a standalone job which you can run immediately or you can run based on a time zone. Now I am running the job immediately. Once the job is completed, you can go to the job details and you can select view an option of view exported data on the right hand side. When you click on this option, this will download the exported file in a zip format. Now if you open or extract the zip, you can see that the records which you filtered and the columns which you selected are exported in the PDF format. Now I'll explain about the second method. The second method is exporting the data using search within an entity feature of data discovery. The steps are as follows. Go to the search within an entity option from the data discovery menu. There select the archive folder and entity details. Provide the required search criteria and view the records. And here you can select only the sum of the records from the displayed records or all the records and you can run the export job. Let me show a quick demo on how to use the search within an entity option to export the data. Go to the search within an entity data vault from the data discovery. Here select the required archive folder and the entity details. Here provide the filter condition in order to filter the records for the exported file. 
the advantage of using the search within an entity data vault over the browse data is if in the entity you have multiple tables and th there is a relation between the tables a parent and a child relation using this feature you can export the records of both the parent and child table at the same time when you click on view it will display all the records which come under the above criteria you can give multiple criteria using the logical and and or operations and filter the data using multiple criteria now from here if you want to export only some of the data or if you want to export all the visible data or if you want to export all the records which come under the above criteria you can select the corresponding option if you want to select only one or two records you can just select the one or two records or you can select all the records which come on under the above criteria and then click on export now based on your requirement you can export the data into an xml file or a pdf file or delimited text and if you select the delimited text you have the flexibility to select the column separator and row separator in the exported data for now i am selecting the pdf format and once you submit this will create a standalone export job and when you run the standalone export job in the job description you can see that there is a view exported data option and by clicking on this option this will download the zip file which contains the all the exported files so if there are a parent and child relation and in the criteria you have given the records which contains records from both the parent and child table then the exported zip file will contain the file separate files for child and parent table you can see that these are the records which come under the criteria which i have given in the child table and in the parent table pdf you can see all those records which come under the criteria in the parent table thanks for watching the video we would like to hear the feedback from you you can mail your feedback to support videos at informatica.com or you can use the our twitter profile infasupport in order to provide the feedback thank you